Hi everybody, this is Sandy from Words Alive and welcome to Story Station. Today we're going to be reading a non-fiction story. That means it's real. It is a real true story. This is called A Beetle is Shy from Diana Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. Let's get our bodies ready. Put your circles up. They become letter O's and open your eyes really big so you can see these gorgeous illustrations. Get your letter C's ready, put them behind your ears, turn up the volume so you can hear the author's fantastic facts about these beetles. And get your voice box ready, open it really wide and yell out for me all the fun facts that you're learning today. So let's get our song started. The title's on the front. The title's on the front. Hi ho, biblio. The title's on the front. Who writes those words? You remember. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi ho, biblio. The author writes the words. And who drew these beautiful illustrations? The illustrator. The illustrator draws. The illustrator draws. Hi ho, biblio. The illustrator draws. And what holds the book together? The spine. The spine holds the book. The spine binds the book. Hi ho, biblio. The spine binds the book. And now it's time to read. And now it's time to read. Hi ho, Biblio, and now it's time to read. So this book is real, just like I said. That's called nonfiction. What do you think it might be about? What are all of these on here? They're such beautiful colors. And do you know that they are real? You can really see them in our world. A beetle is shy. Diana Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. They're the authors and illustrators. And we are gonna be so excited to watch these beautiful colors come alive in this storybook. Can you tell what they are yet? What do they look like to you? I wonder what a beetle is. We are so excited for Chronicle to allow us to share this story with you. Here we go. A beetle is shy. It begins its life inside an egg, soft and wingless, tender, protected by the roots of trees and the underside of leaves. This egg hatches into a wriggling larva that feasts on plant and animal matter. It grows quickly, shedding its hard outer skin or exoskeleton many times as it gets bigger. So these are all the different stages that this beetle is going into. The larva begins its transformation in a cocoon-like pupa where it develops wings and antenna. Finally, a beetle twists and turns and squirms free of the pupa's leathery skin and its body and true colors emerge. What does that remind you of? Have you ever seen one of those? It's a lady beetle. We call it a ladybug, but it's really a beetle. A beetle is kaleidoscopic. That means it has all the colors of the rainbow. While many beetles are black or brown, some are iridescent or shimmery and rainbow colored. Oh, they are absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can turn this page today. It's a very Hard page for me to turn. There we go. The beetle is 
colossal. That means really, really big. One of the largest insects in the world is a titan beetle. It has mandibles or jaws. Jaws are what open up your mouth. Powerful enough to snap a pencil in half. And beetles are also microscopic. They're so little you can't see them unless you look through a microscope. The smallest beetle is one of the smallest insects in the world. In North America, the feather wing beetle is so tiny, it could just crawl through the hole in a needle. Boy, is that small, as small as a piece of thread. Beetles are found on every continent except Antarctica. And because they're so plentiful and so protein rich, they are eaten by humans around the world. Do you think you'd want to eat a beetle? I don't know if I would. In the United States, you can snack on mealworm ice cream. And in the Netherlands, you can try chocolate-infused mealworms. In Papua New Guinea, they have roasted palm weevil larvae. And in Australia, they have roasted longhorn beetle larvae. A beetle is a digger. Some have legs that are wide and jagged for digging. Dung beetles are like bulldozers, rolling marble-sized balls of animal waste and burying them underground or on top of dung heaps. A beetle is also a runner. Some beetles have long, slender legs made for speed. The tiger beetle runs a foot per, oh, I'm sorry, two feet per second. At that rate, the Olympian of the insect, insect world can run 50 yards in over a minute. That is really, really fast. The hopper beetle can use their toes to catapult themselves 13 inches high. There's a beetle that swims. Aquatic beetles seek their meals of algae, insects, worms, tadpoles, and even small fish. Some have flattened legs like paddles for swimming. Others glide like sailboats atop ponds and lakes or speed beneath the surface as if they were skating on glass ceilings. Wow, they can just swim right on the top. A beetle is telegraphic. Let's find out what telegraphic means. Most beetles send messages to each other using chemicals called pheromones. The scent of pheromones acts as a code that tells the beetles where to find other beetles, or food. The other beetles talk to each other with squeaky, raspy sounds made by scraping their wings against their body. Fireflies are beetles. They communicate by bioluminescence or glowing lights. They flash their signals to attract other beetles and defend their territory and warn away predators. Have you ever seen those fireflies glowing in the dark? They're sending signals to your friends. Beetles keep themselves safe in many ways. The colors and shapes of some beetles, especially those that feed on plants, help them camouflage themselves or hide among the beetles, among leaves and bark. Some beetles protect themselves by emitting a liquid that's toxic or poisonous. True to its name, the blister beetle 
secretes a toxin that burns people's skin and causes swelling. There's an arrow beetle, a wasp beetle, and a bombarial beetle. Oh my goodness, some of them release gas, some of them release sprays, some of them release little tiny pieces of microscopic, uh, tiny little things that are poisonous to plants and other animals. A beetle is helpful. Lady beetles, also known as ladybugs, or ladybird beetles, and soldier beetles help keep the plants healthy by eating other bugs called aphids. A beetle can also be harmful, like weevils that eat leaves and stems and roots and plants. They destroy many crops that humans rely on, such as corn and lettuce and wheat and cotton and potatoes. In homes, the spider beetle is about the size of a little grain of rice. They like to feed on cereal and spices and bread, dried food, and even your pet food. A beetle is prehistoric. There are beetles that are preserved from millions of years ago. There are fossils that show that beetles were on the earth when dinosaurs were, almost 300 million years ago, making them millions of years older than butterflies, bees, and other insects. There are more than a one million species of insects on the earth, which is more of all known animal species. And nearly half of these insects are beetles. Unlike other winged insects, beetles have a pair of outer wings called elytra. It was their, it's their shield. Their delicate inner flight wings are inside to keep them warm against the heat and rain and hungry predators. So they have like an armor. And the beetle is shy. A newborn, soft and hungry, hurrying to seal itself into a cocoon where it can be still and cozy until it becomes what it's meant to be. And then a beetle is bold. This is called the spotted tortoise beetle. There are so many beetles to behold in our world. I hope that you can find one soon. And remember, this is a true story. These are real insects, and they're all called beetles. Which one do you think is your favorite? There was the feather horned beetle, the red speckled jewel beetle, the wasp beetle, the North American featherwing, the rainbow stag beetle, the pigweed flea beetle, the dead needle leaf beetle, the ladybug that looks like a red and black spotted bug, the titan beetle, the spotted tortoise beetle, the green tiger beetle, the cobalt milkweed beetle, the blister beetle, the water gliding beetle, the spotted tortoise beetle, the emerald ash beetle, the rainbow scarab beetle, the spider beetle, the rosilla lung lungicorn, the acorn weevil, the soldier beetle, and the golden target beetle. I'm wondering if you will be able to find one of those beetles flying around soon. Thank you for tuning in to Story Station, and I hope to see you next time.
，拜拜。